Hey, Moon Magic Super Souls, welcome to today's readings. Beautiful souls, um, today we are asking about a twist of fate that is bringing you a great blessing and moving it fast forwards. Fasten your seatbelt. These readings have come about really because I have been engaging in conversations with people and lots of stuff is happening in many, many people's worlds that can feel almost unexpected or a bit tumultuous. It, it's coming in in so many different ways, but there seems to be a real blessing within these circumstances. It's like a twist of fate is coming in unexpectedly, creating actually an opportunity. So we are seeking guidance about this because if something big is happening, it can feel a little bit of a rocky road sometimes, or we can be having a wobble or wondering if something is going to work out. When we have that connection with spirit, that connection with source and the messages of guidance and often confirmation and reassurance, then we can hold that higher connection to the blessing. And that really helps us to navigate. So that is what today's readings are about and why we're doing them. Now I'm seeing this card on the top for pile one. We're drawing three cards. I'm seeing this card for pile two and this card for pile three. We're going to draw a rune and a charm as well for each of these readings. So we have, first of all, the card of the sun, source. Wow, that's a very beautiful card. This is what it looks like here. Let me show that to you and we will draw a rune and a charm. Pile two, you have square, semi-square quincunx, quincunx. Now this is a card of tension. How interesting. Okay. And for pile three, we have Aquarius collaborate. Okay, there. Now I'm going to draw those charms and those runes. So this, I'm doing this together today actually. So pile one, Hagalas, the rune of disruption, and also we have a beautiful cat charm. Can you see that? How beautiful. So let's place the, the rune there and the charm here. Pile two. Oh, I've got that one. And we have the rune of movement for pile two. And we also have a little rabbit. This is these two together. Okay. And then pile three. Okay. Okay, pile three, we have the rune of Othilla separation and also the rune of the rune, the charm of the tree of life. So this is for pile three. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to leave the camera running just for a few moments longer for anyone that needs just a little bit more time to tune in. If you're finding that more than one is speaking to you, I would just trust your intuition, trust your gut feeling. Sometimes there is more than one message that comes through. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to anyone who is new and welcome back to anyone who is already a part of this beautiful community. I'll leave the video running just a few moments longer for you and I will see you in the readings in just a moment. The timestamps are below and also I will put them in a pinned comment as well for phone users because I know that's a little easier for you to access. Tons of love beautiful souls and see you in just a moment. Hey, pile one, we are asking what twist of fate is bringing you a great blessing and, and fast. 
something changing fast, so much is shifting and turning. You have sun, I mean, source energy. With the cat here, and it's more than just a cat because it looks like a big cat almost, like a, a puma or a lioness or something, you know, a particularly powerful cat. I am thinking, oh, how interesting. Did you just see that, that the candle that I have had burning has just gone out? I am going to actually just get another one. Bear with me while I press the pause button, but I feel that's telling us something quite significant. Something is going out so the new can come in. It's like a, an area of, of your life is switching off so a new area can start, uh, be fired up, uh, and, and it's coming through some aspect of either disruption or something. I almost feel like your tolerance to something is wearing thin or has worn thin, really. Let me just do this first. There now, I happen to see in my drawer, you may not be able to see this, but I found a beautiful sun-coloured candle. It's actually a, a golden orange and it felt very appropriate to light it for you. Very struck by the kind of colours and the shapes here as well, really tying in for your reading in some way. So something is going out, like snuffed it, at, <laughs> snuffed it, but it snuffed out, didn't it? All by itself, it just, it came to its end. That was it, gone finished, kaput. And then we have the lion. It's interesting, isn't it? You know, with the sun, it, which is ruled, uh, or sun is the ruler of Leo, Leo the lion, source energy, whatever it is that has burnt out, snuffed out, come to its conclusion, it needed to. It may have happened in a slightly disruptive fashion, but it needed to. Source energy is right behind you. Source spirit, the universe God is absolutely bringing you the biggest blessing ever here. This is what I'm really feeling. So let me stop talking about just these very first cards and draw more for you. May we have please information for pile one. So we're going to draw two cards from this pack. And two from this pack as well please may we have two cards i am seeing both of those and then two from this pack as well may we have two cards for my beautiful pile one what twist of fate is bringing an extraordinary blessing i'm feeling the card on the base here for you what twist of fate is bringing a great blessing that will move forwards quickly as well. So we have the flame. I mean, this is the light again, the source energy. And we also have the box. How interesting. You're actually breaking free from something or you're literally being freed from something. Maybe something that was boxing you in or caging you in, in some way, shape or form. We have the little one rises. Sisters of the sacred spiral. Mm, I'm seeing this quite fast transition here. You almost don't have time to look back. Or you're sort of, I feel like you're being invited not to look back. Look forward, not back. There's a new opportunity here. We have the Martin and Foxglove Mischief. Ah, and then the Ram and Dahlia. You know, the Ram is like the Aries energy. It's new beginning, it's fire again. And Dahlias are so beautiful, they blossom. Now, the Martin is like a, it's like a, like a weasel or a stoat. It's that sort of family and it can really get up to a bit of mischief. Foxglove is a hallucinogenic uh, plant as well. And it can be poisonous. It, it is actually poisonous. If you were to take too much, uh, foxgloves can uh, cause you, actually, I believe to have a heart attack actually. So let me move all of these over. But I think this is telling us something quite important because I believe there has actually been some mischief going on in your world, actually. And although on the one hand, we could look at it as being a bit of mischief, I, I sort of feel there was a little bit of intent 
within it to cause harm or damage actually. I'm sort of seeing you glancing back over your shoulder here. It's very interesting, there is an Archangel Michael card. I don't have the Archangel Michael cards here. I was not intending to use them in this reading, but one of the cards is really coming to mind. And it's a card that says, it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. And I'm literally visibly seeing it in, in front of me. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. There is something here that either your patients ran out or, you know, the, the situation, your tolerance to it has worn thin. And I am seeing you really recognize. You're recognizing that you can't change it. Interestingly enough, I feel like the connectedness to this is, in a way, it's people who box or a circumstance that was boxing you in. But you know, these, these are the mischief. These are people who box themselves in really. They're, they have limited horizons. And there's like a whole world of potential out there for you. We're going to be asking more about where you're going. I feel like you literally are rising rising out of something. I can just see this tiny little butterfly here, right at the bottom, barely visible here. Beautiful little golden butterfly. Just rising, just coming up. What else are we seeing here? The Ram and Dahlia determination. Okay, this is important coming through here, the flame. Because what I'm seeing is the flame, the flame within you, that source energy, the sun, you are in touch with it, but actually you're you're not actually there yet. That's what I want to say. This is the twist of fate that is bringing you the great blessing. I think you're still dealing with this. I think you're beginning to realize, like literally to sort of, to wake up to the realization that you will need to look ahead and move forwards. You're recognizing that there is a need to move forwards. I'm just listening. I don't know if you can hear that dogs barking in the background. Yeah, almost like they're raising an alert. I suspect it is just a dog barking at another dog um, in, in, the, in the field behind where I live. Many, many people walk their dogs there. But I do feel there is something about, something has raised your alert. Something has come to your attention. I do think for most of you that whatever came to your attention... I think it came in a manner that was a bit disruptive. Again, there's been mischief afoot, a spanner in the works, that kind of stuff. And I think you are in that space of realization that really, in all honesty, the only solution here is, is actually to leave something behind. And literally, almost like not even glance over your shoulder. There's no point in continuing with this there's there's something that there is there is absolutely no purpose in continuing with it because it will be disruptive I, I i just feel that it will not work for you and you you are recognizing that there's something quite serene about you almost as if there is an acceptance here with this lioness lions are remarkable and, and lionesses, I'm not saying male lions aren't remarkable, but lionesses are particularly remarkable. They're very hard working. You know, they raise their young, they, they, they hunt, they, they do a lot. Basically, they are very, very busy and they do a lot. They're also very serene. They sort of know how to conserve their energy. You won't catch a lion pacing around frantically in an unnecessary manner, not in the wild. When they are ready to hunt, they hunt and they are on the case and their energy is targeted and focused. And then 
when their energy is needed to relax and pick up again, they re recoup and recover. When they are giving and looking after their, their cubs, their families, they are, they know how to be. It's like they know how to handle things. And I feel like, yeah, a twist of fate is actually bringing you some liberation. It's removing some restriction from your world that previously would ultimately have held you back. It, it's an element of mischief. Um, I sort of feel maybe even with the foxgloves because they are hallucinogenic. Maybe there is some sort of, I almost feel like a bit of rather delusional behavior going on behind your back, behind the scenes. People creating stuff that portrays events in a way that is not really real with mischief afoot. But the ram, determination and dahlia. I, I feel you are being given a really important message here, my beautiful pile one, which is that you, with determination, you can come through this. And because we were asking about this, it came through in my preparations, fasten your, fasten your seatbelt. And this is beautifully in alignment with the current uh, kind of moon phase, the moon cycle. I have just posted a moon month update with, I, and I have drawn cards for a key message for every zodiac sign. Do check that out, beautiful souls, if that is something of interest to you, because this does look to be quite a fast paced kind of um, shifting and turning moon month ahead. Now, at the moment, your flame, your light is still quite closed in. You know where you, you're, you know, you know that you want to shine. You know that you want the liberation from something. I think you just want the freedom to be yourself, to look ahead, to not be restricted. To be able to act when you want to act. You know, a lion, a lion will defend itself, especially a, a mother lion. If her cubs are threatened, she will defend herself and she will defend her cubs. But she'll only defend if she has to. I feel you're wanting to live in a manner where you don't have to defend yourself against mischief. And perhaps the, the goings on of people who live in that manner. And I feel like you are recognising that maybe there is a move that you need to make. You're, you're in this space at the moment where you're weighing up possibilities and you're processing sort of how to get out of this box, really. Your light, your flame and source, source energy, spirit, the universe is, is really backing you. They want you to shine. And they want you to have the freedom to be relaxed when it's appropriate and to act when it's appropriate. Not to be living. I feel like some of you have been living a little bit uh, looking over your shoulder. Sort of because you've had to because of this mischief and stuff going on. Now... We'll draw some tarot cards and see where this is going. But I do feel we're getting a very big message for you that with determination, you will come through this. And we know that this reading is about fasten your seatbelt. A, a twist of fate is bringing you a great blessing. So this mischief may be disrupting and it may be still feeling as though you are boxed in, but actually it's giving you exactly what you need to, to shift something, to change some aspect of your world that will liberate you. Let's draw your tarot cards now. What are we showing for my beautiful pile one? What is happening? How will this progress? How will this move forwards? I'm seeing these two cards as well. I feel there is another. I think it is. No, I will draw in a moment if, if needed, my beautiful souls. Let's see what we have here. Yes, so first of all, we have the death card, so the death and rebirth. But what I see here, how very interesting. I feel like you are tiptoeing your way through a situation, tiptoeing out of something. I, I feel like whatever move you make, this is about you actually not necessarily sharing your plans openly because I feel that there are some people, the mischief makers, may actually may be dying to know what's going on in your world. 
So yeah, tiptoeing your way through something. And even with this, you know, we, we see like there is a figure behind the curtain here. And then almost as if the image we see is of, of the, the skull here. And this again makes me feel like this mischief maker going on. Things going on behind the scenes that have boxed you in. King of Wands. Oh my goodness me with the source energy of the sun. You are going to shine. We have a, a, a pe these peacock feathers. Hmm, let me see. We have, gosh, we have the King of Wands and the King of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. Oh my goodness me. And then we have the Four of Wands, which is a beautiful card of celebration, sometimes of marriage. Hmm. Okay, how fascinating. Okay. How fascinating. With the seven of ones here, do you know, I actually think uh, something that has been a part of the mischief making it is to do with there's some competitiveness going on, maybe even some jealousy as I see you sneaking away. I think that this will, now this is a, a, a generic, a general reading, and so it will apply, the messages will apply to some of you, but not all. I do actually feel there is some profound jealousy actually around you and your amazingness to shine. I think maybe you remind sometimes, you remind people, I want to say of who they are not, like because I think you are someone who has the ability to really shine and to excel, to be like the, the king and the queen of the jungle. And it is as if that is then stifled. Somebody has been trying to box you in or even a group of people trying to stifle your light out of jealousy. I think the jealousy in a way, for some of you, there may even have been a former partner uh, I, with the four of wands, a former partner of somebody who wanted to kind of control you, to dominate you, to own you almost. I get a sense of ownership and really a quite a ferocious kind of king of cups here, this dragon, quite a quite ferocious energy here. Very competitive, very jealous of your light, of your brightness wanting to hold you, wanting to own you, and not wanting to share you with the world or for you to share yourself with the world. Now, that message will apply to some, but not all, but I do feel there is an element of that. Someone trying to cage you in, box you in, and of you needing to really quite thoughtfully and carefully exit a situation. Because you know, you know that this boxing in is never going to stop. I think you've reached this point where you realize that this person, or there could be a group of people, it will be different in different scenarios. If this is not to do with intimacy and love, a romantic partner who is jealous of, your, of you, it could be a business relationship or a setting at work where someone is jealous of your abilities and they constantly try to box you in so that you can't shine or remove the opportunity for you to get that promotion. There's just a lot of competitive energy here rather than someone using those feelings of jealousy in a positive way and striving to step up and be like you or align with you, they use it to stifle, to put you down, to hammer you into the ground, literally some of you, to stifle your light. And you are now fully aware of, I want to almost say the extent of this, you're fully aware of the motivations that are going on here. Actually, this is what I'm seeing. And now, and I see this in Sisters of the Sacred Spiral, look how determined this figure is as she looks forward. The figure looking back is sort of casting her eyes down. She's had to diminish herself, but this figure, literally even her pigtails are flying. 
Now, for some of you, maybe uh, this may have karmically taken you back to some aspect of childhood where you were uh, restricted as a child and somehow that has led you into circumstances where you're revisiting that and learning that you can shine. But the twist, <coughs> oh, excuse me, wow, I just kind of almost choked up in my throat. How interesting. I wonder if you really struggled to have a voice. The twist of fate here is that this discovery, this realization, this awakening to the reality of this, this circumstance is never going to change. It just isn't. These people are, or person or circumstance, they're not going to wake up. They are not going to um, step up and they will always be jealous and envious of you in a manner that is going to cause you restriction and mischief. And so, it is now time for you to exit this scenario. Literally just, you know, it really is, you know, don't, don't look back. Move on. You need to shine. It's right. But you are quite right as well that it is appropriate for you to leave quietly. Making your plans thoughtfully, carefully, because whatever is going on, it needs to change and you are aware of it, but it is appropriate for you to exit in a particular way. It doesn't mean that you won't shine, but it is appropriate for you to exit quietly and thoughtfully, tactfully, not sharing your plans. I'm going to draw more cards for you, uh, my beautiful pile one. I feel I wish to see where this is going a little bit for you. May we please just have some more information for my pile ones, please. Where is this going in terms of the, the speed as well, how it is moving forwards, what is happening? So we have the hanged man. Okay, and then the queen of coins. Okay. I feel I want one more card here for you. May I have one more card? And that is your card. The tower. Okay, lovely. Right. What I see here, beautiful souls, I'm just going to place this down here. It belongs down here. So what I see here is, oh, bear with me, please. I am forgetting almost the new YouTube rules. So let us just make that a, a better a better view for the new YouTube rules. Okay. I am actually seeing, uh, I feel as though resources, something is coming to you. You have something um, tucked under your, tucked under your sleeve. What's, is that, that's the right saying, isn't it? Tucked into your sleeve. Uh, there is something tucked into your sleeve that will enable you to create this change or something is coming to you that will give you the resources you need. Something is coming to you. You either have something like resources, source energy, the sun, money, finances. Something comes to you that enables you to then actually create the shift and it happens. It can then happen very quickly. So it is very interesting because in one way we have a twist of fate bringing you a great blessing in actually the discovery of a circumstance that, that really you needed to know about so that you move away thoughtfully, quietly, carefully. But I think there is another great blessing coming to you, a twist of fate where some kind of resources come to you. Someone aids you. Someone gives you something. Now it could come in the form of a sign or a signal like synchronistic events with the hanged man in a way that is unexpected, like something turns itself upside down for you. Literally, a situation reverses that brings you something, some resources that you needed so that you can then move forwards. The tower is a card of very fast change. The hanged man is a different energy altogether. I always feel with the hanged man, 
something needs to be seen or we need to have an out of the box and upside down solution. S something is coming to you. There is no doubt about it. I feel like there will be a second blessing, a second twist of fate. The first twist of fate is a, a, perhaps a little bit of a harsh realization. The second twist of fate, I don't think it has arrived yet. Okay. But I feel like we're being reassured that it is coming. A second twist of fate is coming your way that will enable you to have the resources you need to be able to initiate exactly the change uh, that uh, is needed here. I am just going to draw a couple more cards for you. I feel I want to follow this through. May we have more information, please, for my beautiful, beautiful pile one. The star, ah, oh, yes. Yes, lovely. So we have the card of hope. These powerful, powerful cards of the major arcana here for you. And then lastly, we have, this feels like a dream come true, something you are wishing for. Something that, um, oh well. And then we have the card of the world which is a completion and what I see here we we see a beautiful couple dancing together in harmony in uh, synchronized steps okay so there is a second blessing coming to you and it will enable this ship this shift to happen and to happen very quickly it literally is like a dream come true for you at a time when I think you are probably feeling quite vulnerable because of this scenario over here that has been happening. This is a time for you to be making plans and looking ahead with determination. A second blessing is coming to you. I don't believe you know what it is yet. I think this has is yet to come and it is going to bring about it's like finding uh, finding your tribe. It, for those of you who have been in a challenging situation, perhaps in a relationship of possessiveness or jealousy, then maybe you meet someone new who comes in and really this is like a liberating experience. So if you are looking for love, you're coming out of a relationship which has been profoundly challenging. I think you actually are quite possibly going to meet somebody who just you you dance the same steps you sing the same song but for others it it literally is um finding your tribe or finding the right fit in something but it it brings this scenario to a clear completion and what i am seeing is that whatever is going on here for you my beautiful pile one that even though you are feeling vulnerable within this shift this change the outcome is going to be a, a major, major blessing because whereas I think you may be feeling a little alone with this at the moment, having to kind of quietly prepare your exit, as it were, without telling a lot of people almost, that's really quite strong energy. This won't be right for everyone, but there is something of keeping your plans under wraps here with purpose. The outcome is that you will receive what you need financially or, or energetically, energy-wise, to be able to create the, the change that you desire. And yes, you may be feeling like you're stepping into the new, almost alone and vulnerable. And yet the moment that change happens, it's like you meet your tribe or the right person or the right scenario or the right job the right fit of something something comes to you that feels so so good it is like a dream come true so we are being shown a huge amount and in many ways there are many blessings all that come about because of this primary twist of fate where something has come to your attention that actually has been about boxing you in power one this is your reading uh, I am sending you all the love in the world and I am seeing so much, so much fertility and amazingness coming from this and I'm sorry that you've had to experience this. I do think it perhaps goes back to a, also the revisiting of some childhood element which is now being worked through within a current scenario where you, you are now about to step out of that box and be liberated. 
Pile one, if this reading is resonating with you, do consider joining the Moon Magic Tarot community here. Um, if you haven't already, thank you all of you who are already a part of this amazing uh, YouTube family that we're building. Thank you all of you for checking in on my readings. I post these two or three times a week. I have just posted a Moon Month update. I mentioned it earlier with literally the kind of message of the, mo of the month, message of the Moon Month for every sign. I do my in-depth all zodiac readings on another platform but when i do my moon month update we really do ask spirit for an immediate message that each sign needs to know to govern to know about for the coming moon month so do check those out if that is appealing to you beautiful souls i'm sending you all the love in the world tons of love to you hey pile two welcome to your reading so we are asking you know a twist of fate is bringing you a great blessing. What is this about? And how is it happening fast? This fasten your seatbelt element. Now the rune of movement, AWAS, this is about something gathering momentum, something building, uh, moving potentially faster. It, it tends to often refer to the bettering of any situation, which is interesting because we have tension here. S square, semi-square, quincunx. So this is kind of like where things are just not aligning or, or, or working or I say they're not working. And this is the interesting thing. It doesn't mean they aren't working, but it, it's like having a different kind of elements that wouldn't normally come together and somehow being able to use this as an opportunity, these different elements that wouldn't come together, using them as an opportunity, possibly to create something quite unique. This is what is coming through here. And we have this rabbit. It reminds me of the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, running around like a mad thing you know, being really busy, must be on time, must be on time. And I, I feel maybe there is a lot of things competing for your time here. So a twist of fate is bringing you a great blessing. Let us discover what this is about. So we'll draw some oracle cards for you. May we have cards for pile two. We're going to draw two cards from this pack and two from this pack too. May we please draw cards? I am seeing, yeah, I am seeing those two. And two cards again, please. May we have two cards from this pack for my beautiful pile too. Let's have a look at these first. We have, so we have Kairos, how interesting. And then we have the medallion. Hmm. How interesting that there's lots of gold around this eye in Kairos. And these little gems. And then even in the medallion, there's a gem in the middle. And I'm seeing a hand, you know, this hand reaching for something. Okay. Let us place this here and look at your other cards as well. So we have the Wolf and Rose Hip Guardianship. And then we have the Bat and Hellebore. Hellebore is a winter rose. It's known as the winter rose. And it's interesting, bats for me always symbolize transformation. Interesting because they can see in the dark and this is a winter rose. And look at this hand in the dark reaching to something and this eye seeing something, seeing the gem in a situation. This is what is coming through. Seeing the gem in a situation which may feel a little bit crazy, a little bit as if somehow there are different opinions or different perspectives or lots of different things going into the mix and thinking that they will never bond, they will never mix. And yet I think there is a hidden gem in this scenario. Something can come from this. What else do we have here? Pray to the east, guardian watches over the west. How interesting that we have guardianship here, the wolf and rose hip. Pray to the east, guardian watches over the west. 
and then grandmother ensures safe crossing. This is actually very lovely. Okay, so. There is definitely within your current situation, this twist of fate bringing you a great blessing. I think there's something that will that is quite unexpected that is going to emerge from something of a conflict. Something will emerge or grow literally like a, a flower growing in the winter, just when you think you are in the midst of I don't know, uh, juggling too many balls and thinking how, an, or spinning too many plates, how can you hold them all up? Or it, it, it's not exactly this busyness. I, I feel that's not quite right. Let me try and get this completely right as I'm feeling it and thinking it. It's not like, it's not so much that you're juggling or spinning lots of plates or juggling lots of balls. It's more that it feels like the balls or the plates are not from the same set, or the balls are not from the same set of juggling balls. So one may be heavier than another one, and that makes it much more difficult to juggle because they're not evenly weighted in some way, shape or form. There is some scenario around you that feels as if the, the different elements of it are so different that it just creates a red light, almost like f like a stalemate potentially. And with the wolf, wolves are of the dog family and, and they're very protective. We've got guardianship here and then guardian watches over the west, pray to the east. I feel this really is the blessing. There is something within this twist of fate, this space of difference that is going to bring something that is an absolute gem. Something will emerge from your current situation that is so unexpected. It's like bringing light into darkness, a solution or an answer or a, a winter rose, just when you think everything is in darkness. A, a bat will also follow through uh, their guidance system is like a radar. It's like they can find uh, their food. For example, if they're out there hunting, I guess those, those that eat insects rather than fruit, but they can find their, what they need through their senses. They don't have to, they can see in the dark, literally, they don't need to visibly see something. We have this eye here. And it is very interesting that grandmother ensures safe crossing is a card that kind of affirms that the right thing will show up at the right time. I, I feel as if whatever tension, whatever conflict, even for some of you, because I'm seeing a clash with these birds here, there's like a, a clash of opinions or a, a difference of opinion. You know, something, the, the different um, factors don't seem to fit together there will be a hidden blessing in this and what you need to see will literally show up at the right time. You'll see it when you need to see it. So there's quite a big confirmation in this reading in terms of almost like reassurance for you that, that the right thing will show up, the right support, the right help. So there is a blessing within this. Let's draw your tarot cards. What are we shown here for pile two, please? What else is going on? What is this situation, this conflict, this difference of opinion, or this discord, or this tension? What is this about? I'm seeing this card and that one as well. What are we shown here? So, first of all, we have the Hermit. Now, it's very interesting in this card that the hermit is, is completely cloaked. You can't see the face at all. And yet we have this incredible white stag being the guiding light. There's, there's a higher picture involved here. And then we have the magician. Let me move those along a little bit. Then we have the magician. 
she looks like a doll and, and there are mice here how interesting mice are quite timid it's like a fairy tale magician waving a magic wand and then the six of wands which is a card of victory okay right whatever conflict is going on around you whatever tension there is we're seeing a as if literally, as if by magic, something is resolved. As if by magic, something is resolved here. You're being guarded and protected. Grandmother ensures safe crossing. Pray to the east. Guardian watches over the west. Yeah, you are being protected. There's no doubt about this. Whatever conflict is around you, whatever challenge you may be facing... Your passage through this to success is being guided and protected. It is like spirit guiding you through the darkness here. The magician waving that magic wand, the fairy tale princess or the fairy tale, the fairy godmother coming in here, bringing you what you need when you need it. We then have the card of the tower. How interesting that this card came out in pile one as well. And we know that this feels like a farce on your seatbelt. So something happening quickly. I think that your passage through this will happen very, very suddenly. Just at a point when maybe you were feeling like you were trying to reach for something and that maybe you couldn't reach it, something happens. Something changes, literally like someone waves a magic wand. Yes, we have the Five of Swords. How interesting. The Five of Coins. Okay, and the Ace of Coins. Hmm. I feel like, you know, just when you, you're feeling like you're, I don't know, out on a limb out in the cold, wondering how this is going to resolve itself. It is like, like literally spirit source waves a magic wand and something comes to you that exactly what you need as you need it. The Ace of Coins, a gift offered to you. I, it's almost like a rescue package. That's what I feel like. Here we have here, look at this. It is so interesting, the imagery here. Here we have you reaching for something and suddenly the next minute we have a card holding the coin, the medallion. Reaching for it, trying to strive for it, something you are striving for. It's like suddenly it comes together because we have success here. I, I actually do feel I must draw some more cards for you, pile two. I'm wondering if, if you are, if there is anything financially going on around you and you are worrying financially about something, worrying how you are going to meet that need or meet that, again, that conflict. How interesting. I, I feel like I want to know more about this. I'm seeing the solution coming to you. I'm seeing that you're guided. I'm seeing that you're protected. There's a guardianship going on around you. I'm not quite sure what this is about. This tension. And with the rune of movement, we know something will move forwards here. I am wondering as well whether this actually, the, the message that is coming through here now is, I feel like maybe you're overthinking this. Overthinking it and over worrying it as it were. Getting tangled. We have ivy here on this card here. Ivy can literally, um, if it becomes too prolific, it can bring a tree down. Literally, it can bring down a great big tree if it is too prolific, if it's clinging. And yet in some ways, it, it creates the most incredible habitat for so many species. And I think this is ivy here, I think, although with these flowers, it looks like an ivy or even a bindweed. Um, maybe if it is indicating something like a bindweed, it's the same thing. It's a climber. 
you can, you are. You are climbing your way out of this situation. That is the message coming through here. I feel like you're, you're despondent about it. You know, you're, you're upset about it. You're, you're fearful, you're tearful, you're despondent, you're unhappy. You feel, I think you feel more disabled than you are. There's more of a conflict going on here. And that is what I think we're seeing with the cloaked figure. I feel like a little bit like my beautiful pile twos that you may be slightly shrouding yourself in a bit of despondency over this. Yes, yes, I do feel there's quite a lot to handle. There's a problem that needs to be fixed. There's a tension, but there's a real gem within this. There is a blessing, a twist of fate is bringing you a great blessing. And I do feel there's an element that we're being shown here that is to do with being tied to a, a sort of a tying yourself in knots within your mind, within your emotions, feeling, feeling like you are in a tangle of something, Fe sort of gloom and doom and, you know, that, that expectation of everything going wrong here, rather than recognizing that this is a guided situation. There is, there genuinely is a real, there is a real gem within this. There is a blessing. This is a twist of fate. Even if you're feeling a little bit like it's coming in from all directions, that's what I feel like. Let's draw more cards. I, I am feeling this very, very strongly. Listen to that beautiful bird singing. Did you hear that just coming into uh, the area of my garden? Just literally hearing that bird song right by the window. I, I don't know if the microphone picked it up, but it was very loud and clear. It's like singing a beautiful song. King of Swords, a lovely card. This is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Okay, I'm going to see this card, Seven of Wands. I am seeing this card, the Hierophant. Yeah, we are taking these two. I wondered if it was all five, and it is. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. This is the Phoenix rising from the ashes. Yes, you have to work to get through this. The, you know, the spinning of the plates, the juggling things that appear to not quite align. Maybe you're doing more than one thing and one doesn't seem to align with the other, but you can do this. You can do this. Don't be despondent about it. You can do this. You're going to have to work at it, Seven of Wands. This is a card that it has many, many layers of meaning. But what I am seeing here is one peg at a time. With this hammer here, this sledgehammer, you know, you can crack this, okay? You can crack this. This is what is coming through. You have to work at it. And you are being guided with the Hierophant, literally guided. You can crack this, but... Don't try to do too many things at once. You know, if things are coming in in all directions, focus on one at a time. If with this gigantic sledgehammer, he was trying to hit all of these simultaneously, he would hit none of them. What he needs to do is to focus on one at a time. Decide which one he is going to nail. You can nail one thing, and then you can nail another thing, and then you can nail another thing. This is literally how to do this. This is really clear instruction and guidance, really. And you are being guided through this. You'll be shown what you need to focus on. Ten of Wands. Yes, there's a lot going on. Yes, there is a huge amount going on. And then we have the Three of Wands. But you can climb the ladder of success here. Everything in your reading is saying, look... All of these different elements that don't quite fit together or feel like they won't quite fit together. All of the different pieces of a complex jigsaw. All of them will fit together. It, there isn't really as big a conflict as you believe. Part of the challenge of the current situation for you is in, its, in many ways of you learning, stepping up and learning how to, almost like how to multitask and recognize that actually you can manage quite a few different things simultaneously. It may not be your preferred method or you can manage many different viewpoints and perspectives 
and you may not think that you can, but if you listen to each one, it would be like if you are a mediator and you listen to every different side of the story, you will find little pieces in all of them that contribute to the whole. And then with that knowledge and awareness, you can climb that ladder. Six of Wands, success. Even this Ten of Wands, which is traditionally a card that can be um, a card of burden or we're overweighted, we're carrying a lot. Look how this tree has cracked the skull. Literally, it's cra you've cr you can crack this cracked the skull and is striving and indeed to the light and in full blossom. Everything you are currently involved in, working at, creating, you may feel like a twist of fate is burying you under a pile of different things or burying you under a pile of um, different scenarios or different perspectives, different viewpoints, whatever this is for you in the uniqueness of your world. My beautiful pile too. Everything in your reading is saying to you, you can climb, you are climbing the ladder of success. There really is an absolute, I almost want to say a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There is because we're seeing success and victory here. Climbing the ladder of success, achievement. Grandmother ensures safe crossing. Discovering that remarkably within even a situation where you just think you're not going to pull it all together, you do and you can. And that actually within this space of many different things, my goodness me, you rise like the phoenix from the ashes. Just nail it one thing at a time, literally. That's what you're being shown. You just need to nail it one thing at a time. And yes, you have to persevere. Yes, you have to work at this. Absolutely. But you are being guided. There's no question of it. You are being guided. Absolutely, wholeheartedly and completely. And the hidden blessing I feel is that you are going to rise to success. And what is very interesting here is uh, there is definitely some sort of divine timing involved here. You know, Kairos speaks of divine timing. Grandmother ensures safe crossing speaks of divine timing. Whatever you are going to achieve from this, whatever comes through this, it, it really is guided. There, there's something within your current scenario of juggling or of achieving or of bringing together different viewpoints, whatever it is, even though it may feel like a tall order. The key here is don't get despondent, crack it one step at a time, you'll be guided, relax into this, don't get overloaded, allow this to emerge and grow. My beautiful pile too, I'm seeing you sort of rise to success, to fame, to visibility almost potentially for some of you, visibility here. So yeah, whatever this is, this, this really is potentially the, the, the key to your success, actually. So even though it may feel like a lot to handle, there is something, some real nugget in here that is the key to your success in quite a personal way to you. And I think it is, it is unquestionably guided. Even if you feel like it's coming in from all sides, there'll be a nugget within that that means you bring something forth here. A huge, huge blessing coming. And I am seeing it emerge reasonably quickly here because I'm seeing you climb the ladder here. We're seeing you move through this quite quickly. I, I almost feel like there's a condensed pocket of time. Kairos is about time. A condensed pocket of time where almost when you look back, you'll wonder how on earth you ever achieved all the things you achieved. But you know what? You will and you can. And my goodness me, the results will be extraordinary. Pile 2, this is your reading. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If this is resonating with you. Yeah, do you know, sorry, I just need to now dive back in. It takes me back to the hair that what I was seeing in the Alice in Wonderland. The white rabbit, in fact, running around with the clock, the timing. Running around like a mad thing. But actually, um, getting everything done. 
The key is not worrying about it, but putting your full focus into everything that you can do one step at a time and recognizing you are being guided. Sorry, I just tuned in with that white rabbit. Pile two, this is your reading. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I post readings two or three times a week. I always post on a Sunday with immediate guidance for the here and now and the week ahead. And I have just posted, if you're tuning in with this reading as I've posted it, I've just posted a moon month update with lots and lots of information. And also in my moon month updates, I do draw cards for every zodiac sign. It, it's like looking at the, the most important message for the coming month for each zodiac sign. And then my bigger, all zodiac sign readings are on a different platform beautiful souls have an amazing and incredibly busy but incredibly productive kind of like high flying time this is what's happening here fasten your seatbelt. this is your rise to success and yes there's a lot of work to be done but my goodness me you will be supported and guided tons and tons and tons of love pile two Hey, Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So what twist of fate is bringing you a great blessing? And fast, fasten your seatbelt. Now, Aquarius, collaborate. That's an interesting card. And we also have Othilla. This is really getting my attention, really, for you. Because this is a rune that speaks of real property sometimes like a, a move sometimes a connection to a move and it's also about gain or inheritance it's like when 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 a snake sheds its skin it's it's kind of like we acquire something because we've let something go there's a shift away a gift coming to you but the gift specifically comes in almost like in replacement of something else which is a bit like why there's a, a move or real property associated with it. Because, you know, when you leave one house, you then move to the next or in some way, shape or form. So what twist of fate is bringing you a great blessing? Let us draw cards for my beautiful pile three. Okay, you have the vulture and asphodel upheaval. And the snake and fern starting over. Well, that's pretty much in alignment with exactly what we were just saying. Okay, what else do we have for my beautiful pile threes? May we know what else is going on? I am seeing this card for you and also actually this one. And we'll draw a couple more oracle cards for you. May we please have, I am seeing these two for you. Okay, we have for you, we have the Bardo and Kairos. Kairos came out in pile two actually as well. Mm. Okay, the Bardo. Yes, look at all these skulls. It's so, um, so uh, transformational here. We're seeing things move forwards, transforming, starting over. We then have Daughters of the Red Tent. Wow, look at the transition taking place here and Grace in full flight. Okay. Okay, how can I place these cards, I think? Mm, I'm just going to place these along the top, actually, so that we have this here, like so. And then we will put this just here, I think. That's what we can do. How interesting, trying to squeeze it all in. What is that telling us about your reading? A little bit of a squeeze here going on. Let me move our light. Yes, we can do that. My beautiful pile three, everything in your reading, I mean, everything, it, it, it's remarkable everything is about transition moving from one space to another like with this great big uh, pot this urn pouring water into another bowl as if there is a transition from one space something is being moved from one vessel to another 
the transition of Othila moving from one thing to another, Daughters of the Red Tent is the same, it is about moving, upheaval, starting over. The Bardo, it's about moving from one space to another, it's rather like the death card in the tarot. And, and Kairos, it's like a, a, window, a, a window of time, a pocket of time when something, as if there is a moment of timelessness where there can be a profound shift. In fact, actually, I will just read you, um, I will just actually read you something from the Daughters of the Red Tent just to sort of illustrate this here. Literally, for the daughters of the red tent, you are at the threshold of a new life. You have outgrown the world you once knew and even the person you once believed yourself to be. This is a sign of a good life to come. Yet at the threshold, there can be danger for, for that which is new is vulnerable until it gains full strength. You are held in sacred protection through this time of transition. Soon you shall emerge in full maturity and strength integrated and ready to bring yourself to the world in a new form. It has been decreed thus by nature herself, and so it shall be. Isn't that amazing? And I think there is another bit here as well. Yes, in a reading here it says, um, trust in the divine timing of how things are unfolding in your life. There will be a surprising return of life, something springing back into life, or something thought lost will be found in a better way than before. The red tent is a wise, sacred space. It allows for restoration and healing that is powerful and happens naturally from within. So it, there's so much happening here. Uh, the bardo, it's like this space between uh, this life and the next, one life and another. Everything, everything, everything in your reading is about being in this space. Now, we are talking about a twist of fate that is bringing you a great blessing. So I'm feeling as if there is something that has happened that has possibly caused you either to stop or feel like you are in this window of time, this upheaval. Something happened that or is happening around you that is creating a space of transition. But it may have come in an upheavaly sort of way unexpectedly perhaps the snake and the fern starting over i think we better draw your tarot cards and see what we are shown my beautiful pile three what is happening with pile three what's this upheaval about oh wow we have the four of wands this is a beautiful card of celebration mm. we then have the king of coins this amazing turtle May we please have more information for my pile threes. We have the chariot. Okay, this is very interesting. I'm going to draw more cards and just put them to one side to look at in a moment. Okay, I'm seeing these. And I feel the one on the base of the pack as well. We'll look at these in just a second, but here we are. The Four of Wands indicates sometimes uh, it's a card of marriage, it's a card of celebration. The King of Coins, I mean, look at this incredible turtle, it's like a new life, and the chariot moving forwards. If any of you have actually met someone recently or made a commitment to either a new relationship or a new job or a new career pathway, something where you are collaborating, connecting with people. This really is something that is going to build into a world of longevity, solidness. If it's a marriage, this then this is a relationship of, it's a long-term relationship. There's a long-term commitment being made here. It's like a shifting from literally one physical space to another. If you are moving house, then you will move house to somewhere that you are going to love and stay in for a long time, I believe. And there's a lot of upheaval. When you move house, it's moving house, even though we might really, really want to move house and it's very, very hectic. Actually, you know, once we get there and we've bedded in, it's amazing. We put down roots and it's fantastic but when we first move house even if it's the house of our dreams let's say 
it can take a little while to feel like your roots can take a hold. I'm seeing them take hold quickly. There is upheaval around you. When you move house, it's chaos. You move and you're exhausted and you're surrounded by boxes and you think, why did I ever move? But you're going to love it, grace in full flight. It's the best thing ever, starting over. There's something in your world that is starting over. And yes, it is full of upheaval. But it comes from you making a commitment and it does involve collaboration, a new connection with something or someone for you, pile three. It's transformation. It's moving from one life to another. It feels very celebratory. We have the hermit card. Oh, well, look at this. So we have the hermit card. We have the star. This is a dream come true. We have the five of cups. How interesting. We have the six of wands. The ace of cups. And then the hierophant. Hmm. Okay, pile, pile three. Collaboration. I am seeing you move from a place of, of working or doing something on your own to working, to working in collaboration with someone. There is an opportunity to collaborate. It does involve quite a lot of upheaval, whether this is personal for you or whether it is... Uh, by personal, of course, it is personal for you. But I mean, whether it is like a love relationship, a marriage, or whether it's a marriage in partnership to do with business or to do with like going to a new job or something like that. This really is a dream come true. Very interesting. We have the five of cups here. I sort of feel like you're in this space of transition where you're not actually you've made the commitment to something but you're not actually sure yet whether it's going to work out you know when you start something and you're sort of in that zone of feet it feels right and you're trusting that it's going to be the right one like like the if we use the moving of the house as a good example you move or you take that job or that relocation or you get you move in with a partner or whatever this is you make that commitment and off you go, almost like feeling like there's a little bit of blind hope here. And you're sort of trusting, but you're feeling very vulnerable. You really don't know whether it's going to work out or not. And you arrive and it just feels like it's really a bit chaotic and you haven't quite found your feet yet. You haven't quite put down the roots, but you, you kind of really want this, but you're really unsure about it. And yeah, it's everything you wanted, and yet you're very, very, you're a bit wibbly-wobbly in the move. You're a bit wibbly-wobbly in this new space. You're still in the in between -y space. This is what we're being shown here. You haven't actually landed yet. This is the problem. You are, I say the problem because it isn't really a problem. The twist of fate is that you have made a commitment, you've created a shift, and you, you haven't yet, I think you've, almost like physically you're in this process of actually of transition but simultaneously to this new life but simultaneously you're still feeling a bit vulnerable it was what we were reading in the this uh in this book if i come back here as well where are we daughters of the red tent um Yes, it says here, um, this is a sign of a good life to come, yet at the threshold there can be danger for that which is new is vulnerable until it gains full strength. This is the area. I'm not suggesting you're in a, a position of danger, actually, in any way, shape or form. I'm not seeing that and I wish to voice it. What I am seeing is that you are in a position where you are feeling vulnerable because you're in that space where you've left one thing behind but you haven't yet firmly put down roots or felt anchored into the new yet. It, there's a lot of warmth and glow and promise and, and I think you made a choice to be here, but you haven't yet firmly established yourself in the new. You're going to love it. 
you're going to love it. You have the Ace of Cups here. You're absolutely going to love it. You have the Six of Wands. It's a card of victory. And with the chariot, and, and the chariot is being driven by these two salmon. Salmon uh, go back to the place where they belong or where they started from. And they can climb, um, literally climb up, sort of, they, they go back upstream to the place of their birth. I think you are going to be somewhere where you find an anchor. It's like you find your place. This is the place where you are going to belong. This is the place you are going to feel anchored. This is where you find your tribe, Aquarius, collaborate. This is a, this is a long haul commitment. It is a space of belonging. The energy that's around you that I am seeing, my beautiful pile threes, is that you're still in the space of transition. You've made the commitment, but you're not there yet. You're literally metaphorically surrounded by boxes. You may even still be in the packing of boxes or you're still, you've accepted the job, but you're still looking for the place to move to and you're wondering whether this is right. Have you made the right decision? Have you made the right choice? Everything in your reading is saying, yes, you have. Don't worry. Don't be anxious. It's completely normal, I think, in, in within a transition and a space of transition to be emotional. This is what I'm seeing in the Five of Cups, a lot of emotionality. It's kind of, I really wanted this, but is it the right thing? Have I done the right thing? Absolutely, yes. This will be one of the greatest blessings of your life. And this is the twist of fate here, because I think that we see it here really with, with the card of Kairos as well. And the Bardo, I mean, the incredible energy of potential in this transformation. I think that the decision and the commitment to move has been made for, for a reason. And you're aware of that reason and you're conscious of that reason because that was your choice to move. But the twist of fate is that so much more is going to come from this. You may be thinking that you're moving to somewhere and it may be temporary or for a short period of time. Kairos is all about time, but actually I think once you put down roots and you start to bed in, you will realize that this is the place you belong, or this is the world in which you belong, or this is the community with whom you belong, or this is the person with whom you belong. There is a whole other layer of blessing, of longevity, of connectedness, of putting down roots that is coming with this that you did not see coming. And this is the great blessing. The twist of fate is that you think you are moving on one level with great hope and great possibility and great excitement, but also great upheaval and great chaos. And if the move is coming because you've had to move unexpectedly, it's going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Truly, my pile three, I am seeing the most amazing outcome come from this. I do feel largely this is a choice, this move. But it's a natural progression from one place to another. This needs to happen because something that is absolutely right for you, it's like this sacred marriage is coming from this. It, it literally means that you will find the place you belong whether that is in the arms of someone or in the dwelling with someone or the community with someone or your larger working world, you will find the place where you belong. And that is the great blessing that is coming. That is the twist of fate from the move that you are already involved in uh, transitioning through. You are processing and transitioning through this as it stands, my beautiful pile three. My lovely pile threes, this is your reading. This is such an affirmation and it is going to be, this is the real blessing, so much bigger and better than anything you possibly, possibly actually could have dreamed of. And actually after the event, fairly quickly with the chariot, I think, and the six of wands, really very quickly, you are going to realize that this was the best thing you ever did, the best decision you ever made. 
pile three. This is your reading. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you so, so much, all of you, for liking, sharing, subscribing. Beautiful souls, if you're looking at this reading, obviously it is a timeless reading, but if you're checking it out as I've uploaded it, I have just uploaded a moon month update and I have drawn uh, cards and runes for every zodiac sign. Literally, we have asked spirit for the most important message that you need to know for the coming month. And then my bigger all zodiac signs are on another platform. Beautiful souls, do check out these other readings and my moon month update if you're interested in navigating and manifesting with the moon. It's something of a passion for me. Thank you for joining me. Tons and tons of love. Thank you so, so much, all of you, for being here. I look forward to seeing you for some other readings soon. I do post readings two or three times a week plus other stuff too. Tons and tons of love to you all.